today I'm going to show you how to determine if a number is even or odd. Um, back when I was in school, I was taught memorize this number, the skip counting pattern, and you'll be good to go. However, that's not the case. Um, we do want the kiddos to know why numbers are even, not just what numbers are even. So I'm just going to show you a real quick little tidbit of how we're teaching them here in school. So what we teach them is, um, for example, the number 21. Um, of course, you know it's odd. Um, but when numbers get to be like this big, and they have to see if it's even or odd, we can't have them skip counting by twos until they get to here. They're going to go crazy. So why? So we just need them to understand why things are even or odd. So in the number 21, which is pretty simple, of course, you're only looking at your ones place, right? Because the reason things are even or odd is because if you can divide it by two, then it is considered even, right? Okay, so looking at the number 21, I'm going to draw 21 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so what we show them is if you can make a group of two, um, and then when you get to the end, if you have any left over, then it's odd. And if they're all completely in groups of two, then it's even. So now, groups of two, they all have a buddy, and there's this guy right here. He's by himself. So now we know that 21 is odd because you cannot divide it into groups of two. So it's not anymore just about teaching them how to skip count by twos and memorize these numbers. It's just looking at the ones place and determining if it's even or odd. So as you now know, if we look at one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then we've already talked about the pattern in class, so they understand that there's a pattern in the ones place. So of course this one, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you know that one is odd because it has no partner. And then two, since you were able to make a group of two and have no leftovers, it's even. So there's a group of two and there's one left over, so it's odd. A group of two, there's none left over, so it's even. Group of two, group of two, there's a little guy by himself, it's odd. Two, two, and two. It's even because there's no leftovers. So if you're helping your kiddo at home and they have a homework question that says like, is this number even or odd, tell me why. We want them to understand that things are even or odd based on being divisible by two. If a number is even, you can divide it by two. If a number is odd, you cannot divide it by two. And on their star test, I've seen in the past, it will literally say like, is 38 even? Yes, because it can be divided by two. No, because it can't be divided by two. So it's not just about like, it's even, yes or no. It's, well, why is it even? So getting them to understand that making groups of two using the ones place, because there's a pattern, um, is why things are even or odd.